Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In previous session, we have discussed about repository pattern and we have completed the basic setup of our repository pattern. We have created three different layers for UI, infrastructure and core and we have created different project for this. We have created all the methods to perform CRUD operations. In product repository class, we have added all the methods here. Now we are going to implement one by one. First, we are going to read product from the product table. So, I'll take this method to top. To read the products, we have to initialize our app DB context inside the product repository class for that I'm going to create one private variable here I'll name it as context I'll create a constructor here and I will inject this app DB context inside the constructor now we can communicate with database by using app db context here first i'm going to read all the products from the product table so this is our product table which is available inside this database currently we don't have any products inside this table we will try to read the products from the products table where It will return the list of products. I am making as async. Here I have to add async and it will be await. Finally, I am going to return products. Now we will create a controller for products and we will read all the products from the controller. For that I am going to UI layer. I will create a controller here. I am going to create empty controller. To read the products, I have to initialize our product interface inside the product controller. For that, I'll create read only i product repository. We have to add the reference here. It is coming from infrastructure project. I'll name it as product repo I'll create a constructor and I will inject this interface inside the constructor I'll generate the constructor so now I can communicate with our interface to read all the products from the product table here I'm going to read products get all products so after reading the products I have to return to view here we are going to create a view for this here I am going to make it as async for this I have to add task here right click on the action method of index and create a view here I'm going to create empty view it will be index here I'm going to add our model reference to read the list of products 
here I have to add project reference repository it is available inside the core project it is product if you want you can create a separate view like product view model and you can access inside the index view here I am going to create title for our page is a product list here I am going to declare one h3 tag to display our title inside the index view after this h3 tag I will add one horizontal row here I am going to display all my products inside the table so inside the table header I am going to display all our columns. I will create a table row for this. I will make a bootstrap class here. Here we have to add bootstrap reference for this project. I click on the project. Go to the manage NuGet packages. Here I am going to search for latest bootstrap version. select the bootstrap and install it I'm going to install latest table version it's installed now so inside this I'm going to add table headers here I'm going to use HTML helper and I will use display name for I'll read from model model dot id I'll duplicate this I required product name here then price quantity then I'm going to add table body here here I have to bind all our products so before binding we have to check is there any data available inside this model or not for that I'll add one if condition here model should be not equal to null and model should have any data then only I'm going to bind the data else I'm going to display message like there is no product here I'll create table row for this I'll add table data we have four columns here if the data is not available then I'm going to use the call span of four and I will display the message like no products available at this moment so this is the message I'm going to display if there is no product inside this model if there is any data inside the product model then I'm going to bind it here so if model is contains any data it will comes inside this block then I have to use the for each loop because we are going to receive list of products here I'll use the for each and here I'll be having product from the model here I will use table row then table data and here I can call product dot ID first product name price then quantity build the application once so build succeeded there is no error run the application I 
I'm going to call product controller here. Here we are facing one error related to our interface which is invalid operation exception unable to resolve service of type. This is our project name and this is our interface while attempting to activate. So here inside the product controller we are calling this interface whereas we have not added the dependency injection inside our program.cs. So I will tell you how to fix this error. So this is the error we are facing here. I will close this tab. Open the program.cs. So whenever we are using any interface we have to add the dependency injection inside our program.cs. Here we have to add the dependency injection for our interface. I am going to add here builder.services. I am going to add scoped and here I have to pass my interface name that is iproduct repository and I have to call my class name here. I have to pass class name here. Now build the application once again. I am rebuilding. So I will add one nav link for product controller. I will go to the layout. Here I will copy existing nav item. I will give my controller name here say product controller and action will be index products run the application now here our nav item is available for our product controller click on this products Since we don't have any products inside our product table, that's why we are getting this message as no products available at this moment. So we have validated here inside our index view. If there is any product inside our model, it will comes into this block and it will bind each product. If there is no data, then it comes to this else block and it will display this message here. And we will apply some bootstrap classes to our table here. I'll add some classes here I add table I'll add border also I'll click the products now. So currently we don't have any products. That is the message we are displaying. Now we fixed our table style also. Now we will try to insert some dummy records inside our products table. I'll open this product. I'm going to edit this table. I'll add here some products id is a primary key and it's a identity field so we no need to pass any value inside that id here i'm passing product name then i'll pass the price here i'll pass quantity currently we have two records inside our products table i'll reload this page so we are able to read the data as per our expectation here instead of displaying product name and i can change the display name here for that i'll go to the model here i'll add the display name
I'll run it again. So now our header is correctly showing and like this we can read the data inside our repository pattern. In next session we are going to perform insert and update operations. That's it for today. If you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.